hello guys hello everyone wherever you are around the world and uh, today I'm located in UTC minus 6 here it's midnight and uh, yeah let's party with networking remember we all are in the H5P and this is the second part of the coolest sweet why I'm saying the coolest because it was the winner right like we already know there was many sweets trying to get like the peak of the mountain the peak of the world and then TCP rises so this is the TCP IP fundamental video part number two if you haven't seen the part number one we already discussed the basics I think we, all, we I have already opened the last part. Yeah, I have these topics. I already discussed. We already discussed what is TCP IP, what is used for, why is used, which technology use it, why not to use technology means UDP. So when you don't need warranty, you use UDP, right? So that was everything. Like all the theory we cover up in the part number one. So in the part number two, let's discuss about how TCP works how TCP works so this one was uh, from the last video right like um, the section like to explain the topics so I'm gonna read cap the part number two side so how TCP works that will be quite important because we're gonna check bit by bit everything related with TCP. We talked in the previous video about acknowledge number. We called something about sequence number. We called about uh, what else? Uh, la, la. Three way handshake. I mean, we, we just talk about this. And there is a new topic. This, you will love it. Because it's kind of like the core of the DCP. Which is uh, window size. Window size. So at this point, you at least has to be aware of what is window size. In this video, I'm not going to explain what is window size. You need to already be aware if you want to keep tracking with my explanation and know what is window size I highly recommend you to watch my other video called uh, window size in a nutshell basically it explaining obviously in a nutshell what is a window size but it, it gives you like a little like a summary of at least jump up to this video and, and keep going with the explanation and then there is like a more I don't want to say advanced because it's also like a fundamental entry level topic but it's it, there is another topic which you also recommend you to, to understand which is uh, uh, windows scaling windows scaling to have acknowledge number sequence number three way handshake understanding we want to understand I mean, sorry we're gonna check a window size with the example in the Wireshark and then we're gonna check the window scaling that's that's uh, a breakthrough thing when you're using something called Jumbo frames well not just when you're using Jumbo frames your, your MTU can be different but uh, well there is also another topic here called MTU so well we're not explicitly see MTU but you need to understand this okay you need at least to have the fundamentals also I highly recommend you to check out my MTU in a nutshell video in case you're not aware about what is MTU and Jumbo Frames also I also have a Jumbo Frames video you can check it out Jumbo Frames in a nutshell to to, to check it out okay cool so um, what else we want to check MTU, Windows scaling, and um, well, ultra basic stuff OX, which is hexadecimal, 
so at least understanding what is an hexadecimal bits, bytes, etc. Like that's obviously part of this. So let's start. Okay, so about the three-way handshake, TCP three-way handshake. Okay. So let's make an analogy. Let's make an example with two guys. Okay, this is Bob. Bob is here. Okay, it's. Uh, I don't know why, but it's kind of like a fatty guy. And this is uh, George. Like another fatty guy. More and more, more, more like fatty. So, let's make an analogy first with a humans and then we move on to the computers. So, Bob is saying, Bob is going to the street and see George, old friend, George is like in the middle of nowhere, like watching, like in the limbo and somehow. So Bob's saying, George, hi. Hi. So there are two ways from here, two ways. One is George avoid the topic. Another one, another way is answering, right? So if he's saying hi and he, he didn't answer, so communication gone. Like you cannot establish some kind of communication. Imagine George barely hear Bob's yelling hi, so George re uh, replying with hi. Like George, hi. Then George replying, hi, Bob, what up? Okay, so let's take this as a message. This is one message. George is sending two messages. One, which is similar than this, and two, which is kind of like next to this, right? Hi, what up? And Bob answering. What up? Uh, give me my picture. Like my picture from uh, grad school stuff, right? So we can see like both to be able to request the picture he's just requesting the picture George is not sending the picture he's just requesting it so for this was one message hi replying with two message hi what up and Bob replying with a third message saying what up give me my picture like requesting stuff right so this is pretty much this pretty good with computers okay so rather than having computers here sorry rather than having humans we have computers whoa well I use like George like both computer and George computer let's take uh, A and B right so Rather than sending a high message in TCP, the first message they call it as sing. But it's not a message. TCP call it a flag. So it's a sim flag. So let's keep up with the logic. Bob sending a sim flag from the three-way handshake because we're talking about the three-way handshake here, right? Put this a little down. Uh, whoa, sorry guys. Yeah. So this is the three-way handshake. The three-way. Okay. So it starts with a scene. 
George answering with a let's put it in red with a sin sin is the high right the what up is the ak flag and then he's answering also with a knack so it's basically sin, sin knack, ak let's go to the browser, let's open Firefox and let's go to Google and then let's find TCP three-way This is perfecto. Yeah, so whoops. Yeah, great. Yeah, so it's basically what we already explained. Hi, hi, what up? What up? and then the request, the request is coming in the upcoming frames as we all we, we will wanna check okay so basically this is the three-way handshake the, three -way sh the, the, the goal of the three-way handshake is create a connection oriented or uh, a guarantee communication before transmitting data the books call it connection oriented. Great. So let's check it out this with a Wireshark. Let's open, I have already opened a Wireshark. So if we go in the very beginning, so Bob is the private IP address. George is the public IP address. George is the web server somewhere in the cloud, and this is a private in the company. So let's type this on the example above computer using 192.168.12, right? And then And then George is using 172, 143, 174, one, oops, I forgot it, 43, 213, 184, right? Great. So this is for better understanding of the, or the, of the Wireshark, right? So this is requesting to Bob is requesting to George something a picture right we will see is um, logo PNG file so okay so before transmitting data as we already know we need to cover up the three-way handshake scene Second way, three way. Sin, Sinak, Ak. Okay? Bob, George, George answered to Bob, and Bob answered back to George with the Ak. Okay. It's pretty much the same thing we already saw here. So after Bob is sending acknowledgement of the Sin Ak, as soon as he send, uh, as soon as Bob sending the acknowledge, you can see how they're requesting in green give me the picture I give it to you before right means give me the picture of the grad school like I wanted because I miss my xxxxx girlfriend I don't know weird stuff okay so here is the same thing uh, know about girlfriends is the same thing means like there is a three-way handshake and then in the frame number four he's requesting with a get give me logo PNG 
so he's requesting here okay so when he's requesting we don't know what is the total amount of uh, bytes logo PNG uh, is I don't know it can be yeah it can be like one gigabyte it can be 10 gigabytes it can be one megabyte right let's put it in mega in bytes gigabytes okay it can be one megabyte it can be um, 15 14 kilobytes who knows so whether it is let's take 10 megabytes whether it's 10 megabytes 10 gigabytes or 1 gigabyte above when he's requesting to George George is not capable to transfer the image as is he's not capable to send it as is imagine we have 10 megs he's not capable that send the whole 10 megs in one block like fuck like fuck. 10 megabytes and he's getting it no way that's not how it works you need to chunk this into little pieces okay how many pieces how many so how many bytes right that's the question how many bytes I'm gonna chunk of my logo PNG the answer is the MTU so what is the total MTU in between those devices that's the answer of how many bytes we're gonna chunk this logo PNG so that translated in the TCP will be translated with one amazing feature called maximum segment size so this is something besides the three-way handshake so we already understand the three-way handshake well, what is maximum segment size the maximum segment size is the maximum amount of bytes that we can chunk something in this case the picture in order to transfer from George to Bob wow that sounds great right the maximum segment size is one of the value that you close it up before when you before you're creating the true high or when when you're sending the CNAC to be like more specific you can see the diagram layer 2 which is the frame diagram layer 3 which is the packet diagram layer 4 which is the segment within the segment we go into options and in the options we're gonna see the maximum segment size it's 1460 that means how many bytes so we're gonna chunk it in in this particular example we're gonna chunk it in 1460 parts like bytes so how many bytes will be the total to total divided by the maximum segment size that will be the number of uh, fragments The number of fragments right so in this case if it, if the picture is 10 megabytes how many bytes they have a megabyte this is this is the amount of bytes they have a one megabyte right 
divided in 1460. You should send 684 parts in case you want to transfer 10 megabytes. Let me make the math again because I don't want to mess it up because some simple math. So 10 megabytes to bytes. Yeah, I was right. Okay, but th this logo is not 10 megabytes, obviously. It's 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 f fewer, okay? Great. So let's recap everything. So Bob want to talk with George. So we first cover up the three-way handshake. After the three-way handshake, Bob requesting, "Okay, dude, send me this logo PNG." Then in the fragment number six, he's saying, "Okay, bro, I will send you my payload. I mean, I will send you fragments of the logo PNG, as you can see here." So as soon as he's sending, like he, I mean, George, which is the server, is sending to Bob. Bob is replying with acknowledge, like, "Okay, I got it. Send me more." George send more acknowledge okay send me more and so on and so forth send me acknowledge okay send me more I send you more okay send me more I send you more and so on and so forth till they finish if we're going to the last part in the frame number 36 let's open the 36 you will see in the diagram layer 4 we will see that the total was 16 reassembled TCP segments. So we are reassembling 16 parts where each of one covered 1448. Right? As we can see, there is the frames. So the last frame is 1230. So they reassemble this. So if you're asking me what is the total amount of bytes of the logo PNG, this is the answer. So the answer is 22950. So this is the total amount of the PAG. Logo is 22950 bytes, which is 22K. You see how fantastic it is? How easy and simple it is? George, which is the public server, send it to the private server. Well, the private IP. Obviously, there is a network address relation in between. Then, Bob saying, OK, dude, I send you an acknowledge about the whole thing. I mean, we finish. After we finish, he was um, aware that he doesn't need more information at all. Like, he want to close the, the the communication, this connection oriented, this TCP connectivity. He want to close it. So he's sending another kind of flux. So he's sending another three way. Finac, Finac. So let's recap. The first step to close the TCP connection is again for the requester. In this case, Bob. Bob is requesting to the server, "Dude, I want to finish with you." Then the server replying with the Finac. Okay, dude. Let's close. And finally, Bob replying, I'm aware that you closed already. Bye bye. And we finish. Then we don't have more packets. Sorry, we don't have little more frames to study. The four is the, la the last one. 
Okay. So the three-way handshake start with this. Let's write in here. Start. What is what is my okay? So the three-way handshake starts. Start the connection oriented like this. Sin sinak ak. And we finish it with another three way pop. This is to finish the connection because I already got the picture. Dude, I don't need you anymore. Dude. I don't need you anymore. Dude, you don't need me anymore. Confirm. This dude is the finnac. Let's take this like fin, and this is the ac. I don't know, just like example, you know, because I don't need you anymore. The fin, you're finishing, but it's the finnac, finnac, and then the ac, as we already saw in the wire shark in this part. No, no, in this part, in this part. Fin, finac, ac. So this is some portions of the TCP header. Nothing else. If we go into the TCP header, we're going to flux. This is a uh, whether is divide set or non set this is how we can identify a flag within the TCP header with a byte on or off set or not set finac so what about the initialization so it's obviously the same thing sing ac what is a push when we're requesting more other bytes, we're gonna see it in a whole other video. Like we're gonna see the whole flux of TCP. This is another video. I invite you to check the video in the comment section below. This is um, about the the TCP fundamentals. It's like an extra video. It's a focus about TCP flux. Great. Great, 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 great. So we covered already the three way handshake, understanding how it works. How the three way handshake starts and finish, and how the window size working with the maximum segment size. Well, in fact, we didn't see the window segment size. We're going to see it in the next part, also with the sequence and the knowledge number.